good day all in this session we are going to discuss about war genesis part 2 in the animated background let's see that in the last session we have seen the initial stages of war genesis starting from the invasion of the primordial germ cells into the indifferent gonads by sixth week of intrauterine life to the formation of the primordial follicles and at the time of puberty a pool of around 15 to 20 primordial follicles begin to grow under hormonal control and they enters into the phase of follicular genesis and for maturation these primordial follicles must pass through three stages they are the primary follicular stage secondary follicular stage and the tertiary follicular stage first let's see about the primary follicular stage we have already seen by the time of puberty a pool of primordial follicles begin to grow each primordial follicle has a primary oocyte in the center surrounded by a layer of flat follicular cells the following changes occurs in the primary follicular stage first the flat follicular cells change into cuboidal cells and call this granulosa cells now the primary oocyte and the granulosa cells together secrete a glycoprotein layer around the primary oocyte and called as the zona pellucida the granulosa cells increase in number and establish one or two layers around the primary oocyte and the outer layer of granulosa cells rest on the basement membrane now the whole structure is around 0.1 mm in diameter and is called as the primary follicle and is ready to enter into the secondary follicular stage on screen you can see a lot of primary follicles in the cortical region of the ovary each primary follicle has a primary oocyte in the center surrounded by the zona pellucida one or two layers of granulosa cells and the basal lamina outside right next let's see about the secondary follicular stage the following changes occurs in this stage first the granulosa cells increase in number and form multiple layers called as stratum granulosum next the ovarian stromal or thecal cells surrounding the basal lamina undergo cytodifferentiation to become one inner secretory layer called the theca interna and an outer fibrous layer called the theca externa now the secondary follicle has the primary oocyte in the center the zona pellucida surrounded by nearly nine layers of granulosa cells the basal lamina the theca interna externa and a capillary network in between and the secondary follicle is around 0.2 mm in diameter and ready for the next stage the tertiary follicular stage also later in the secondary follicular stage fluid filled spaces starts appearing in this secondary follicle the tertiary follicular stage is divided into two sub stages called the early tertiary follicular stage and the late tertiary follicular stage nearly 47 hours before ovulation a surge of luteinizing hormone occurs that induces the tertiary follicular stage the following events occurs in this stage first meiosis 1 will be completed as a result two unequal daughter cells will form each with 23 chromosomes 
that is haploid number of chromosomes. The large daughter cell that receives nearly all the cytoplasm with 23 chromosomes is called as the secondary oocyte and the small one with nearly no cytoplasm but only 23 chromosomes is called as the first polar body. In the meantime, the antrum increase in size due to accumulation of fluid inside that divides the granulosa cells. At this stage, we can appreciate four different types of arrangements in the granulosa cells. The first layer of granulosa cells surrounding the secondary oocyte and the zona pellucida is called as the corona radiator and the granulosa cells cumulated over the oocyte and the corona radiator like a mount is called as the cumulus euphorus. The granulosa cells surrounding the antrum is called as the periantral granulosa and the granulosa cells resting on the basement membrane is called as the membrana granulosa. Now, the secondary oocyte enters into the second meiotic division and again get arrested in the metaphase of the second meiotic division three hours before ovulation. The early tertiary follicle is around 5 mm in diameter. In the late tertiary follicular stage, most of the follicles become atritic except one that attains full maturity by increase in the size of the antrum. And that large tertiary follicle is around 25 mm in diameter and is now called as the graphene follicle. On screen, you can see a very large graphene follicle with around 25 mm or more in diameter. Meiosis 2 will be completed only if the oocyte is fertilized. Otherwise, the secondary oocyte degenerates around 24 hours after ovulation. Summary Around the time of puberty, a pool of primordial follicles begins to grow. All these primordial follicles must pass through three stages for follicular genesis. They are the primary follicular stage, secondary follicular stage and the tertiary follicular stage. In the primary follicular stage, the flat follicular cells change into cuboidal cells. The layer of zona pellucida will be established and the follicle is around 0.1 mm in diameter. In the secondary follicular stage, the granulosa layer increase in number. The theca interna and externa are established and the follicle will be around 0.2 mm in diameter. In the tertiary follicular stage, the antrum increase in size and attain its maximum. The granulosa cells will be divided into four subgroups. Meiosis 1 will be completed that leads to the formation of secondary oocyte and the first polar body and the secondary oocyte gets arrested in the metaphase of second meiotic division. At last, the large tertiary follicle is called as the graphene follicle. In the next session, I will discuss about the structure of a graphene follicle. Till then, bye.